Hey, what is up, fellow critics? Yes, we have another review and reaction for you guys. Today, we're going to be doing Mindhunter Season 2, Episode 6. Now, last episode was pretty cruised. We finally get to see Manson. They had the Manson interview, which is pretty cool. The uh, guy who played him actually did a really good job. Also, we have Bill dealing with his son and the whole situation with that and how it's spilling over into his work. And then also, Ford got a call that there was another murder in uh, Atlanta so it's crazy it's going crazy before we start make sure you please like share and subscribe to cinema critics guys it helps so much so let's go ahead and start the episode out right, well, take the original I need the other half the Xerox guy's gonna have to clear it then call one that's my property I'm not leaving without it oh yeah because you get in trouble for that I guess BTK is pretty smart he's uh, making sure to cover his tracks don't leave any kind of evidence behind since he already put that out to the press, those signs, so he definitely don't want to leave it in the copier. The correct terminology is SM, sadomasochism, not sado and masochism. SM is primarily the exchange of power between a dominant and a submissive. <laughs> you know what he does at home. Two types. An FBI investigation into Atlanta's missing and murdered children. Uh, now they want to do it, right? As we've learned, our methods are not always going to be received with unbridled enthusiasm, so... Play nice. Play smart. Play smart. Yeah, holding. See that? So that looks like all their resources are going to be going to, at least for Bill and uh, Ford. They're going to Atlanta, and they're they're going there. They're they're freaking this out. Cool that they're finally getting that push uh, for Atlanta, and now it's, you know, national news. Now they can't keep it, you know... Sweep it under the rug. Oh, they gotta get him the the plastic sheets. Is it that bad? Three times this week. Oh damn. That's my job. You were a radiology technician. Where the hell are they interviewing him at? Porn there. You watch any porn? <laughs> Bonding and violence. And then what would he do? And then that guy did it. He did it. He works some. That was, that's very, very interesting interview, man. The, I'm telling you, these interviews, man, they do a really good job with these interviews. This guy, he killed this guy he went out with and messed around with, and he ended up killing him because they didn't have a real connection. But they're trying to pin these other murders on him, and he actually confessed to him, and now he's saying that, hey, I only did it because of the plea deal. And then, but then he's giving so much information about who this killer could be. So I was like, well, you're giving, you're giving a lot of information, it's probably you, but he still doesn't want to like fess up to it, so it's crazy. Oh wow, look at the difference between last time he came here and now. Look how many people are actually working, look how many people are there. Generation of Negro wiped out with each one of these dead kids. You find the last one in the woods by Segment Road. Oh. You can count on another one every month from now on. Oh, damn. Six, eight, twelve, and fourteen. In case you don't want to remember names. And this call is the only lead we got. Are you coming? Ma'am. You gotta run the lead no matter what. If he was at home doing the things he used to do, kids get over stuff. They forget. Mrs. Tench, children do not simply forget trauma not something like that you don't forget something like that and it affects you and you can tell it's affecting him so it's it's a hard situation i can see where she's coming from with it about you know having everything all up in his face and that's affecting him but the whole you know the whole thing he went through really affect him and you can tell it's affecting him because he's wet in the bed you know he's sleeping on his baby toys he's you know sucking his thumb so obviously he's having trauma so you got to figure out how to cope with it and he is on a whole nother level and plus he's young so it's really really hard for him to you know share his feelings and all that stuff so it's gonna be tough it's gonna be tough uh oh oh no strangling a dog or something Look at me. I need you to come home so we can. Yeah, Brian is on a whole nother level. I always Hitting said home. Brian, a juvenile I knew was bad. I wish I could put him away for life. Hitting home. You can just see it. Uh -oh. Come on, Bill. 
Hold it down, Bill. You can do it. Hold it down. I just wanted to tell you. Honey, I don't know what to say. How about I'm going to take time off to help? <laughs> I wish. You know I can't do that right now. I know. Reports that a man called in a tip about where a body could be found. The FBI and police had no comment. Wow. Do you know where your children are? It's 10 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? I remember that when I was young. So I didn't know they started that back way back then. Folks have been saying that a few of these boys could be selling themselves. These kids are really. Oh my 12. god. Every kid. No, he drunk. <laughs> he dropping his lit cigarette, just throwing it out without about to start a fire outside. Based on this, I'm redeploying today's search to a previous dump site, Red Wine Road. Where we found Milton Harvey's remains. That's a win. The chief is actually listening what they have to say, and you know, uh, and actually going with their suggestions. So they're actually gonna, instead of you know, looking uh, for you know, waiting for tips and just looking for whatever the tips is, they're actually gonna go back to where these dump sites are and where these kids were found, and uh, you know, see if you know if anyone came back or anyone left anything or anyone seen anything that new in the area because you know these guys are known to always go back to you know where it happened him and Luby come over the place sometimes I wasn't here Luby Jeter he and Earl knew each other oh yeah connection Earl forensic show up yet we don't have a body retrieval unit the what will collect any evidence what another one Damn! Damn, so they went back to one of the dump sites and they found another body and then they found more. So yeah, this has to be the same person that's doing this. And then they found out that two of the kids knew each other. Like, there was a connection with the kids. Wait a minute, this guy's Caucasian. Doesn't change anything. <laughs> Why are you looking at him like that? Even if, even if it's not him, you still gotta rule him out. Bring him in. Check him out. See what's going on. You know, most likely it's not him, but still. We're only gonna get Satan's <laughs> ear for a minute. He's like, I'm gonna give I'll you some food. I'll call and see if the labs are back. Right? I'm gonna fix me a plate. No blood, but definite seminal fluid. <laughs> it's gonna be a hard show. <laughs> no press. None. This must remain absolutely silent. Understood. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn, they brought the whole squad. Quiet my ass. <laughs> Does the press find out everywhere we go? I don't know, but I hope we find something in that fucking truck. All right, so yeah, that was the episode. Man, oof, it's starting to get crazy it's starting to get intense right now so the team was uh working on this new case where it was like uh snm was well, sm was involved where these bodies were all cut up and you know use a lot of leather you can tell whoever was in that whoever was doing this was like in the kinky stuff and all this crazy the guy who got arrested for it um he's pretty much saying that he didn't do it he confessed to it but he only confessed because of, you know, just to take claim for it so he can get a lesser crime, lesser deal, you know. So they want to interview this guy. So they're, you know, getting all their stuff together. So Gunn lets Bill and Ford know, like, hey, we're go with this whole Atlanta thing. It's made mainstream news and now everyone's pushing for, you know, the FBI and the, the police and you know now everyone wants to start working on this case now instead of you know keep it on the rug because now multiple now you know it's the number got so high with these missing kids these murdered kids now they have no choice they made national news so now they have to like they can't ignore it you know while they're doing that bill and uh ford they get sent out to atlanta and uh so car and smith they actually go do the interview themselves, which I think they should start doing anyway. It shouldn't be 
uh, just them. They get they get sent out there, and they actually do a good job this time. Um, and <laughs> they actually do a better job interviewing this guy than they did the last time. And uh, this guy is very interesting. They really, I really, really enjoyed this interview as well. This guy was, uh, he was, you know, he would go to this bar and he would pick up guys. And uh, he picked up this one guy and they had, you know, they had a good time. And, um, you know, come to find out they didn't, like, connect. So he ended up killing him. And then I guess he chopped him up like the other bodies and they kind of kind of connected them to it and he got arrested for it and then he didn't at first he didn't uh admit to it but then he confessed to it for a plea deal so you know she, she's when he's interviewing him and uh you know he's pretty much saying everything but then when they get to the point of talking about connecting him to the other murders he's like no i didn't do it and all this stuff and he pretty much just like end their interview so that kind of affected her one way in trying to figure out how to, you know, how to get better at giving them the talk. So Bill and Nancy are having a tough time with Brian, dealing with Brian. He's been uh, really traumatized about this whole situation. He's wetting the bed, you know, he's sleeping with his baby toys, he's sucking his thumb. Uh, he's having a tough time, you know, talking. He's not talking at all. I guess at some point he was somewhat talking. But it don't seem like he's talking at all now. And then Nancy was actually making him lunch. And like he just disappeared. She was looking all over the place. And then she found him at the park. And he was just staring at this little girl. So he's he's very troubled. Very, very troubled. And it also affected Nancy. The fact that Bill's not coming home. Bill's barely there when she needs him the most. When the whole family... when. They both need him so much to help with this whole crazy situation. And he's forced to, you know, play politics and then do this Atlantic case. So he's pretty much tied up. But he, at least he has some free time to, to make their, to make their like, scheduled interviews with the therapist. So he he's there barely. But the guys are in Atlanta and it's a lot different now. There's so many people in the case and they're really looking for it. And they got all these leads. The chief of police is involved. Bill and Ford actually talked to the chief and convinced them, hey, you know, maybe we should go and go back to these other past dump sites and look around because these guys will go back to them and, you know, they would leave, you know, they would go revisit the site where it happened or you know and try to relive the whole thing so maybe it's a good thing to go back and you know read you know redo interviews see if anyone's seen anything new so bill and jim actually go and do some interviews of themselves and they check on the one one of the other kids that were missing and come to find out there was no really police work for this like no one was you know asking around when this kid went missing so uh, they're talking to people for the first time and uh, they actually talked to one of the kids friends and comes to find out that three of the kids knew each other they actually hung out so that just connected three of those kids right then and there so um, that's a whole nother thing that's on a that's a great thing like I'm surprised they didn't really you know show more of that like they kind of just like glossed over it but i think the next episode that's going to play a big part while they're doing that uh one of the officers told them hey found the body so they actually found a body at a previous dump site they found a, a older like a decayed skeleton so it has to be you know one of the earlier kids and then fun that come to find out they found another body. So they find three bodies around the same site. So that's connecting them right there. And then they find a um, some tire tracks. They find cigarettes. And they find like a porno mags and like semen. And then they ran the DNA. Oh, no, they didn't run the DNA. They actually, they actually ran the fingerprints on these mags. And they actually got a hit on this guy. They got a warrant for this guy's house. They ended up arresting him while detaining him and uh, took him in. And uh, now they're going to try to interview him. Uh, but they were told, hey, get to keep this quiet. Don't let the press know. And somehow the press keeps finding out what the hell's going on. So they can't keep things quiet in this town. The press are all over this. So we'll see how that affects them. How they're, they're trying to keep this whole thing quiet and away from the press. And it just keeps on 
the presses are all over this now so yeah i'm pretty i'm really really digging this and i guess um maybe for the rest of the season this is going to be about the atlanta murders now um i thought this was going to end up showing more of the btk but they're sprinkling btk in and i was wondering where the like overarching plot was going to be but now it looks like everything is going to evolve around these atlanta murders it seems like um, but I'm really, I'm really digging this. I'm really uh, hooked into this story about the Lanimers. I really want to know. I really want to figure out who's doing this. Um, and I guess this is uh, really events. So I guess I will, after this whole show's over, check out the case and see what really happened. But guys, oh man, such a good show. Digging behind the Hunter second season. Digging this episode. I can't wait to watch the next episode. Guys, let me know what you thought of this episode. Please leave it in the comments below. And thank you for watching, guys. Make sure you please like, share, and subscribe to Cinema Critics. We'll catch you next video. Peace out.